Hey, T. Allen from Digital Vector Studios. If you're working with DaVinci Resolve, particularly when installing or updating the software, you've probably noticed that Resolve uses a database system for all their projects. The databases are shown in the Resolve Project Manager, and it's the first thing that comes up when DaVinci Resolve is loaded. On Blackmagic's support page, you can see how Blackmagic Design says, we strongly recommend that you back up your existing database both disk DB or Postgres QL before performing an update. You can see how important that is for these guys. They put it right there in their support page. Why? Well, because the project database are linked within Resolve. If you're upgrading, then there's no way to downgrade your projects. And if you allow the Resolve to upgrade the databases, you are in trouble if you try to go back if there's a problem with the installation. So keeping those databases separated and backing them up and keeping additional copies is really super important. And so what I'm going to show you how to do in this video is how to make a backup copy of all of your databases so you can keep those intact. So let's go ahead and go to the project manager and in this window all the databases show up in the left panel. Here you can see my disk DB databases and it'll show PostgreSQL databases if you have those. I don't have any of those installed on this machine. So disk DBs are generally used by a single user and PostgreSQLs are used in a multi-user setting. And just so you know, some NASs like Synology allow shared network space so you can set up the NAS and use it as a network drive. So in that way you can use a disk DB setup and multiple users can access it and that's kind of a workaround but if you're ever going to use the remote rendering options you have to use the PostgreSQL or it will not work. So just keep that in mind. Yeah, so to back up a DaVinci Resolve database make sure the database name that you want to back up is selected. You'll see a red box highlighting the selection around the database if it is selected. Click the backup database icon. Choose a location where you want to back up the database. And I highly recommend here that we choose a location that's different from your saved database location. And I'm going to show you just in a minute how to see those saved locations. So resolved databases can be saved on internal, external drives, network drives, SD cards, USB drives, anywhere you can save data. Just so you know, my largest database I'm operating right now is about 100 megabytes and it has about 38 projects just for comparison. Uh, these are shorter projects, usually 30 minutes or less of video. So just keep that in mind. If you have some really big projects, you're going to get some pretty big file sizes. So once we select a location, we're going to choose a file name and click save. And Resolve will take just a moment to create the backup. And you want to make sure you repeat this backup process for each of the databases that you've created in Resolve so you have a backup copy of each one. And I'm going to show you a couple other things here. So if we click this information icon, we can see more detailed information about the databases. And that includes the status, uh, if it's compatible or not with this version of Resolve. And it's going to show you the location of that database, where it's saved at. Okay, so some more things on this menu. If you have a whole bunch of databases, there's this little search bar. You can search there and you can do some filtering, etc. You can also sort databases and we can also restore them here. And we've already done this backup here. So if we want to add a new database, we go down here to the bottom and we click new database. If we go ahead and create a new one, and we can select the type. Do you want to make it a disk DB or do you want to make it a Postgres QL? And we can choose a thumbnail here. We can choose a name and we can choose the location where we want to save it. This is disk DB. The Postgres QL, uh, it's a little more detailed. I'm not going to cover that in this video. So let me show you how to add some thumbnails to these. And then we can select our image location and go ahead and add the thumbnail image. This feature is only available on the studio version. On the free version, you cannot add images to your databases. And that's about it. Like I said, I would save those in a different location and make a backup copy, put it on another hard drive on another machine. That way, if you have a problem with that machine, then you're not going to lose all your work. And that's very important. So hopefully this helped you out on backing up your Resolve databases. It's really a simple task. You just got to know how to do it and kind of the ins and outs of... Uh, just saving it at another location to keep it safe. So thanks a lot for watching, guys. Take care.